Bibliophiles of the internet, my name's Adriana and today I'm here to do the booktuber habits tag. This tag was created by Tina at Regular Reads and I was tagged by Ange from Beyond the Pages. Both of these ladies are booktubers that I've loved for a very very long time and they make great content and they're both amazing people and I will of course link their channels in the description so you guys should definitely check them out. So this is going to be a very meta video, I'm going to be vlogging about how I vlog. Without Without further ado, let's get straight into the questions. Question number one is how many times do you check YouTube a day? More than I'm willing to admit on camera. <laughs> I check my subscription feed a lot throughout the day just to see has anybody uploaded anything? Is there any video that I must watch later? Basically my answer is a lot. Question number two is what is your favorite kind of book video to watch? My instincts tell me tag videos. I've always loved tag videos. They're very fun, very simple. The questions are just there. The people answer them. Everyone has a different kind of answer even if they're doing the same tag. So I definitely really enjoy tags but I mean I really watch every kind of video on booktube and love it. That's why I became part of this community because I love all of the content that we're all putting out. Question number three, is there any structure to the type of videos you film each month? Well I do post twice a week in case you haven't already figured that out. I post on Wednesdays and I try to post between Saturday and Sunday. So that's how it works out weekly, but as for the types of videos that I try to film, I just try not to put the same kind of video up twice in a row. Usually that's not very difficult because I am part of the top five Wednesday family, so usually it'll be a top five Wednesday video and then a tag, a top five Wednesday video and then a review, a top five Wednesday video and then a discussion, something like that. But I don't always do a top five Wednesday video because sometimes the topic doesn't really speak to me and in that case I definitely try not to do the same type of videos back to back. And that's it as far as structure. Question number four, do you have any kind of social media related to your channel and if so, which one do you check most frequently. I have a Twitter and it's the only Twitter account I have but it's strictly for books, strictly for booktube. And I have a Goodreads account as well. And I also link my Twitter and my Goodreads account in the description of every video that I make. As far as which one I check more, I would have to say Twitter mostly because I have the Twitter app on my phone. And I also really love Twitter because it has that sense of connectivity. I can really easily talk to all the booktubers that I like and that's how I keep in contact with a lot of really good friends that I've made on booktube it's very easy to talk to people on twitter question number five do you film edit and upload your videos all at once if not how do you go about your video making process ain't nobody got time for that i am a big believer in pre-filming and pre-filming in bulk a lot of times i have my videos completely edited and ready to be uploaded a week or sometimes even two weeks before they're due to be uploaded it's just easier for me and it definitely takes the pressure off of having to like edit really Really fast. A lot of the times I edit over a course of several days. It just makes more sense for somebody who has my kind of schedule to pre-film videos and then to, like I said, slowly edit them and then be really satisfied with them and then upload them twice a week. I just think it works really well. Question number six is what is your favorite type of video to film? I would say besides tag videos, which I always find really, really fun to film, my favorite kind of videos to make are wrap-ups. I don't know why. I just like going over all the books I read this month and sharing my love of them with you or whatever my thoughts were with you in all of my wrap-ups. I'm sure you guys know by now I always include like a little mini review of what I thought about the book and I always like doing that. It just feels really cool to like sum up your whole reading month in one video like yeah this is what I got done last month I just like it. Question number seven. Do you like and comment on all of the booktube videos that you watch or are you a lurker? I definitely do try to make an effort and comment on as many videos as I can because that's what it means to be part of a community and I always want to be open and welcoming to everybody. I always try and make everybody feel validated in the content that they're making and I just like supporting other people. Question number eight, do you try and review books on Goodreads and on YouTube as soon as you finish them or do you wait a while? I don't really know about YouTube because sometimes I find it more difficult to make review videos, but on Goodreads I am pretty good about writing a written review for every book that I read. I'm trying to get better at writing reviews closer to the time that I actually finish the book and I also don't like writing reviews immediately after finishing a book because sometimes you're overwhelmed by a certain kind of emotion and that will really bias your review in some kind of way so I really like to give myself time to really think about it and really give the book the respect it deserves 
and reflect on it so that I can write the best review possible. But definitely on Goodreads, it doesn't matter if it takes me a day, a week, or a month. I write a review for every single book that I finish. Question number nine is ask any question that you want here. And this is for the people that I tag to answer when they do their video. I think the question that I want to ask is, how do you feel about negative reviews? Reading them, watching them, giving them, what is your opinion? I recently saw two fantastic discussion videos about this topic and I will link those in the description. And I definitely think it's a really interesting discussion to have. If you want me to answer my own question, I think it's important as a booktuber, as a book reviewer to always give your honest opinion. As a reader, I always have felt like it's my obligation to be as honest as I can be while remaining as respectful as I can be when reviewing books. So there's my answer for you in case you want to know. Question number 10 is the one where I answer the question that the person who tagged me asked. And Ange asked, what is your favorite book of 2014 so far? Why did you have to ask such a difficult question and I have a lot of answers for this question so I'm going to be really really quick. Barring rereads, these are some of my standout books of 2014 so far. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson, The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, The Just One Day Duology by Gail Foreman, The Attack on Titan series by Hajime Isayama, 5 Centimeters Per Second by Makoto Shinkai, The School for Good and Evil by Somen Chainani, and of course, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And hopefully those are not the end of the standouts of 2014. I feel some really good books on the horizon. Like the terrible booktuber that I am, I totally didn't do my research about who I wanted to tag before I started filming, so I will leave a list here of all the fantastic, wonderful booktubers who I really enjoy and that I really want to do this tag. These are the people, please do this tag. <laughs> and thus concludes the booktuber habits tag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye.